It's day number something in the battle to save Detroit from the financial reaper. And the showdown between the big three automakers and lawmakers on a government bailout package is on hold until December 8th. But does that mean the news machine gets turned off? Not even close. Also, Porsche unveils its new four-door with a bulbous butt. Volvo teases its next generation of designs, and BMW may have a new green machine in the pipeline. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Let's roll that cool spinning graphics thing in my song. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D. Always fresh every day. This episode of Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Valvoline's automotive series, Under the Hood with Brandon and the Frog. Watch for new episodes at brandonandthefrog.com. Detroit's non-jet pooling, dart suit rocking big three may be losing the publicity battle, but it's hoping to get back the upper hand. With some lawmakers calling bankruptcy the best hope for ailing car makers, the GM board of directors struck back this week, saying bankruptcy reorganization was not a viable option and one that'll cause the companies to liquidate themselves into oblivion. The board's message echoed an op-ed piece in the New York Times this morning by former U.S. Energy Secretary Spencer Abraham, who said bankruptcy would cause a spiraling lack of confidence among buyers that will lead to the company's demise. There's no word from U.S. lawmakers who will reconvene hearings on a bailout package for the U.S. auto industry on December 8th. And it could be the most controversial Porsche model ever built. Well, except for this one. And this one and maybe this one. But after four years of teaser shots, speculation artwork, and cracks about its copious posterior, official video of the Porsche Panamera arrived at our doorstep earlier today. It's the first look the company's given us since announcing the new four-door coupe at the Frankfurt Auto Show in 2005. The details aren't many. Porsche says the Panamera is longer and wider than comparable four-door models and shares a design DNA with Porsche's 911, Boxster, Cayman, and Cayenne models. Output from the yet unnamed six and eight cylinder power plants will range from 300 to 500 horsepower, with higher powered versions getting help from typical turbocharging. Power will accrue to the wheels by way of a manual six speed gearbox or Porsche's seven speed PDK Doppel Couple. How does. Thank you. That is annoying and loud. In addition to rear wheel drive, the top version of the Panamera comes with all wheel drive. And Porsche says the hybrid version of the Panamera is still on the table. Panamera will make its world debut in spring 2009, and the first models will be at U.S. dealers in the fall of next year, with a sales target of 20,000 cars a year. And Volvo says we can tell what its next S60 will look like by a teaser shot. No, not this one. It's the Volvo S60 concept. That's the car set to headline the Swedish Ford Division's booth at the Detroit Auto Show this January. Volvo designers say the S60 concept offers an exciting blend of drama and sensuality. Much like actor Ron Silver. And unlike boxy Volvos of the past, the company's new design direction is said to crank up the car's, quote, visual volume. Sounds good, but just to be safe, we'll be wearing a set of eye plugs when the S60 debuts in Detroit. Get it? Eye plugs, like ear plugs? Okay. Next up, what's green, German, and could signal a revolution in the ultimate driving machine? Give up? It's the internet rumor mill, and it's coming up on Fast Lane Daily right now. there are certain problems with cars that you can detect solely by smell. So when he gets here, we's gonna have ourselves a good old-fashioned smell off. You ready to lose this smell off? You wanna bet on it? Sure, whatever you want. But when I win, you have to do the show in a Speedo and in some Chicks Tierra. There are so many things I love about a new car, especially the smell leather upholstery, the gas fumes, the toxic adhesives. It's like French perfume on a supermodel. Love that joke. But when it comes to keeping your car running right, it's the bad smells you need to pay attention to. Find out why smell could be your most important diagnostic instrument. Watch Under the Hood with Brandon and the Frog at brandonandthefrog.com and you can learn all about it. BMW sent shockwaves through the automotive community when it unveiled a modern take on its classic M1. That car was the M1 homage concept. Homage? 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 Okay. Since then, the rumor mill has been in the uproar over the company's plan to build a new supercar. Today, AutoWeek reports the game of yes and no has a new wrinkle. That according to a high-ranking BMW official who says the company is working on a modern sports car that'll be both a top performer and a showcase for the company's fuel efficiency technologies. The new model will reportedly get a lightweight aluminum space frame chassis and carbon fiber body panels for a target weight 
of around 3,000 pounds. Under the hood would be a showcase of BMW's Efficient Dynamics. That's the program that spawns such hybrid-like fuel-saving tech as brake energy regeneration and engine stop-start functions used in the company's 1, 3, 5, and 7 series models. Insiders say the competitor to Audi's R8 could get power from a twin-turbocharged 3-liter inline-six, producing in the range of 400 horsepower. AutoWeek says the model will likely go into limited production by the end of 2012. Well, that wraps up Fast Lane Daily for Monday. I'm Derek D, and we're back in the studio. I want to go back to LA. It's fun, and hang out with my buddy Bob Shubin. He's the man. I don't know, what? What's up? Hey guys, what's going on? It's your old buddy Randy Dixon from Thunderhammer. Remember the magical year 1974? I kind of do, I kind of don't, if you know what I mean. Anyway, Fastlane Daily is going back to 1974. This Thanksgiving Day, it's gonna rock your fucking turkey. I want to party with Derek D. Let me tell you, that guy is cool. Ooh.